I hope you found some more information on this ghost business, Andronicus. Look, I've been doing some digging around, and by all accounts, this stuff is more messed up than Tatooine. Pirates run this place, though the Empire and the Republic have dared to move in of late. Still, ships don't land here. The cold is part of it, but there are other rumors. The kind you'd ignore if you had sense. There's nothing sensible about looking for a ghost in a frozen wasteland. Yeah, I guess if I wanted sense, I should have stuck with killing and stealing. There was a light freighter out of Yavin 4, Star Runner, disappeared over this place. Reported some strange happenings before it did. It was a smuggler vessel, loaded full of ancient junk from Yavin's tombs. If I wanted to catch a ghost, I'd start asking after that ship. This looks like an excellent opportunity to continue your training, Ashara. I'm ready, Master. Hollow Chatter says the Empire's operating on this ice block. So you might try using your new Lord of the Sith authority. Careful, though. Place is crawling with pirates, and they aren't all as nice as me. I'm looking for a ship called the Star Runner. My lord, truly an honor and a surprise. I'm afraid no ships have landed on Hoth in ages. Unless it's a crash. Actually, the name Star Runner sounds familiar. If I may ask, what do you need the ship for? You're here on Darth Thanoson's behalf, naturally. The Star Runner was, uh, shipping artifacts that belonged to him. Strange. The vessel, I recall, was a Republic ship. Star Runner. Blast. Your ship crashed years ago. It's buried under a few tons of snow by now. Your best bet? No. Give me a few months to get a recovery team on it. As long as I get the ship, I'm happy. Of course. Perhaps a few months isn't satisfactory for Darth Thanaton. I hesitate to suggest it, but we do have a fully equipped reclamation service team in the field already. It's just the lieutenant in charge is a little odd. Too much time digging in tombs, you understand. One moment you're seeking artifacts of unspeakable power, and the next you're flying halfway across the galaxy hunting ghosts. Well then, maybe you and Lieutenant Talos Drellick will get along after all. I'm afraid I can't call Lieutenant Drellick. The weather on Hoth is bad for communications. The team's way out in the way searching for some mythical Sith temple on Hoth of all places. Good luck, my lord. Loose boys, we'll find that temple, I can feel it. Rogers, no cutting corners. Don't forget the salt. Salt's not the best solution, but it's the only thing that doesn't freeze out here and solid footing is a must. I thought I was crazy. Oh, my lord, you can never be too cautious. The dead dislike having their graves rifled, even for posterity. I heard you single-handedly unearthed artifacts of the great Tulak Horde. I'm a Naga Sadar man myself, but I'd love to compare notes. What brings you to Hoth? And how may I be of service? I heard that a ship carrying artifacts from Yavin 4 went down over Hoth. Hmm. A ship. Not usually our line, but let's hear it. Maybe we can help. Hmm. A bit new for the reclamation service. But artifacts. And a ghost. I've heard that the dead talk down in the tombs, but to see one, oh, I wonder if it'd be possible to make a hollow image. I imagine it would depend on the light. Yes, darker would be better. Engineer Sorrel, do we have any probes that aren't frozen solid? Shalora works as good as any in these conditions, sir. She may not look like much, but she's got heart. If my guess is correct, the captain would have launched a distress beacon before the crash, which would give us a line on the ship. Trust me, I'll take care of it. Excellent. I've triangulated out a rough area where I think the beacon would have landed. My boys and I are going to shift camp, try to get a better communication setup going, but let us know if you find anything.
This is Captain Quellen of the Star Runner. SOS. I repeat, SOS. We're caught in Hoth's gravitational pull and falling fast. Strange events date back two weeks. Yavin 4 artifacts believed to be the source. Something has taken control of the ship. To whomever finds this message, burn this vessel. Don't look inside. Don't touch it. Burn it. Lieutenant Drellick really is something else. Could find a womp here in a snowdrift, I bet. It still doesn't tell me where the ship is. No, but we have a bearing from the beacon launch. And those tracks. Somebody beat us to this thing. Lieutenant, sir, we found the beacon, but no ship. There's some light tracks, though. Appear to be a few days old. Have Shamora zoom in, Sir. I've been studying alien tracks since I was old enough to know a Twi'lek from a Takata. Um, Ortolan. I'd know them if they were six days old and covered in jam. Those are Ortolan tracks. I'll be sure to look for you next time my ship's galley is invaded by a pack of Ortolans. <laughs> That's a good one. I'll have to remember that next time the Imperial Reclamation Service Trackers Committee meets. It looks like those Ortolans dug something up. Possibly a clue to the ship's location. Sorrel, where's the nearest Ortolan camp? It's a ways beyond the next outpost, but the tracks look headed in the right direction. Well, it might be time to put on your best diplomatic face, my lord. Ortolans don't like outsiders much, but it looks like they're the key to finding our ghost. A little lightning will break them. It always does. Well, it sounds a little gruesome, but who am I to question a master's methods? I'll have Sorrel bring the beacon to the base. Between it and the Ortolans, we're bound to have a breakthrough. We'll be there when you're through dealing with the Ortolans. I'm looking for the remains of a ship called the Star Runner, which you took from the Distress Beacon site. <laughs> Could you say that again? No offense, but Master, why can't you Sith just become one with the Force when you die? If you'd rather speak through these idiots for eternity, be my guest. <laughs> I wonder if Jedi have this much trouble getting what they want. Why not have these creatures do it for you? at the ghost, and he needs me to get inside an ancient temple. Then it's true! My peers in the service laughed when I said it was on Hoth, but now, yes! It's the only thing that makes sense. Your ghost said he was a follower of Ludo Kresh, and that Naga Sadao's assassins killed him. Sith, do you realize what you've done? You're cute when you're excited. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> oh, how kind of you to say. We're talking about the fabled Sadoween, Naga Sadao's personal order of assassins, myth made real. Don't worry, I'll get you inside. 
I've been circumventing the security of ancient tombs since I was old enough to hold a data spike in a pair of pliers. A data spike and pliers? I have far more advanced equipment at my disposal now. It'll open tomb doors and make tea while you wait. Provided you know how to use it, of course. Now we have a temple to discover. like a simple pulley job. I, I just need to... Give me a moment. Oh, I am too excited! Every time I open a new tomb, like watching a flower blossom, so many wonders! These look like the catacombs. The rest of the temple must have been destroyed by the elements. The great and secret order of Naga Sadao's assassins, the Sadoween. This is where they came to die when their bloody work was done. Why build in such an inhospitable place? What better place when no one would dare to come here? Please, I know the ghost wants this all destroyed, but let me at least take some hollow recordings. To obliterate all this history, why? We'd be orphaning ourselves. A Her culture needs the hand of the past to guide it. Take your record and make it extra thorough. Thank you. It shouldn't take too long. There. That's the last piece. Just... Just tell me when it's over. <laughs> That's the last of them. My lord, that droid, didn't we already defeat it? Excellent. Thank you, Sith, for your help. Fascinating. How is this possible? It doesn't appear to be technological. To see those pawns of Naga Sadao crushed, their graves defiled. Normally, I consider myself above revenge, but this pleases me. I hope this is your way of saying you're grateful. Yes, Sith. It is. The ghost! Never in a million years! The Star Runner may be found in the belly of the mighty Super Dreadnought Star of Coruscant, in the graveyard of ships. I landed it there for safekeeping after I crushed its foolish captain. There you will find me. I know the place, but it's swarming with pirates. White Moor, I think they're called. Not exactly connoisseurs of the historical. I'll use caution. Oh, I'm sure those pirates will crumble before you like the bones of dead Sith. I wait expectantly for your arrival. Unbelievable! One minute it's walking around good as new, and the next... Oh, there's better equipment for analysis at the base near here. It's on the way to the ship graveyard, if you'll follow me.
Here we are. Now, I have to analyze this droid. But your friend said they'd be here if you needed them. I believe the ghost said he was in the Dreadnought. Best go there if you wish to find him. My savior and avenger, my heart is light, almost as if I were alive again. You have a gift. The way you and your apprentice cut through my guardians was most satisfactory. What was the point of having them attack us? Haven't we already proven ourselves to you? I am sorry, but I have always been vain, and surrender is not a pill I swallow easily. We can't waste any more time. As you say. Before you perform the ritual, promise me that you will release me when your enemies are defeated, and you no longer need my power. Seal the promise with your blood, and I will submit willingly to your control. Sorry. The sight of my own blood makes me squeamish. I won't be taken easily. My lord, I hope to catch you before you left. I, um, I have resigned from the service. The military just isn't the best use of my talents. I feel I could serve the Empire better by, uh, by helping you, if you'll let me. I can always use another lover of the strange. It would be an honor. I promise I won't let you... Wait, you will? Great, great. Thank you. You won't regret it. I have military training, rifles, small arms, grenades, and I am the best in the galaxy at finding rare artifacts, if I may say so. The ship's getting crowded. Are you sure we can use him? I promise I won't let you down. Ah, yes! I can sense the new power within you. Good. And I would suggest... Tangasar Charis embarks prize war pairing Swase Ikbus Karadida. For once, I agree with a monster. Break into Thanaton's meditation chamber and blast him with all those dead Sith you've piled up. Then set a course for Drummond Kass. You got it, Captain. But if you face him with his defenses up like last time, you're toast. Don't forget it. If there's any way I can aid you, my lord, let me know. My lightsaber is ready, should you have need. Up now, we sons. <laughs> 